What's up guys, Anton here at DPR. This week we're diving down into the Desert Ghost G-Stripe Clown Project. If you're ready, let's check the male we just purchased and some of the females that he's going to. Let's jump right into that. Very recently guys, we purchased this male from uh, Mutation Creation. Uh, you already know who they are, Billy, uh, amazing guy. This snake is just epic. We purchased him uh, in September at the CRB Reptile Exposition in Canada. Uh, this was our main um, target at the show. I know, ooh, a little feisty. I knew that this animal was there and I uh, really wanted to jump inside of that project and I really needed a male like this. So this animal here is basically a enhancer, uh, which is just a, another line of Desert Ghost, a brighter and more creamier line of Desert Ghost. So, an answer slash there's a ghost genetic stripe 100% head for clown so this animal is for a triple recessive project um double visual 100% head these animals are insanely valuable um so this male should color up very nicely and the fact that he's uh, enhancer and not desert ghost he should really hold that creamy greenish clean coloration uh over a desert ghost that would potentially look a little more exanthic like uh, still very clean, but that an answer is a extra notch uh, on that project. So we're going to go and check a little bit on um, which females I have planned for this animal and a little bit of the genes I would like to incorporate inside of that project. So three years ago, guys, we paired a pastel leopard yellow belly clown to a lesser G-stripe pet hypo female. The whole goal was to make some double head G-stripe clown because I absolutely love the project. It is a shocking visual. Um, and that 50% head hypo is just a bonus on top of everything. Um, so we hold, we held back basically four females of so this entire row here. Um, we had two for sale, but they actually never sold. And we just decided to take them out of Morph Market and hold them back. Um, and I'll show you these girls. They're really getting, getting up to size. I don't think I'm going to breed them this year just because I don't really have the perfect male for them. But they're definitely right there when it comes to size. Um, and this female here is a yellow belly double head G-stripe clown, 50% head for hypo. This female is massive, uh, beautiful example, pristine example of yellow belly. She just has amazing contrast uh, and just that insane yellow belly flickering. Um, so this female is definitely one of the girls that's going to go to that male. I'm going to show you one more. This is basically one of her sister. Uh, and she has pastel and lesser added on top. Usually jeans that you don't necessarily want inside of your clown project. But when you look at the coloration of that snake, this female is basically neon yellow. She didn't fade. Uh, the, the yellow coloration is still just bright and pristine. I really hope that this female proves to be hypo as well. So basically a pastel, lesser, yellow belly, double head, G-Strike clown, and even het hypo, so triple head. Um, I think this female should be amazing when it comes to this. So with that male, the best outcome would be to make some um, G-Stripe Clown 100% Het for Desert Ghost. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have any female that are triple Het. Um, so we won't be making that triple anytime soon, but we're definitely working with those animals. If we hit, let's say, a um, G-Stripe Clown Het uh, Desert Ghost female, and then we raise that up, the odds of getting those triple recessive is going to be so much quicker than anything um, doing triple hats or whatever. So we're really taking the long route when it comes to this, but the whole goal is going to be adding genetics inside of her project. And I'm going to show you one female here. If she actually proves to be 100% uh, head for clown, this is also a female that should be epic. Um, this is even for like shooting for quadruple recessive. Uh, this female, she actually just, just, just started to shed. We're not going to bother her too much, but this is an orange dream spot nose hypo 50% head clown. So with that, we could be making some OD spot nose clown, triple head, desert ghost, well, enhancer, hypo, and genetic stripe. Power packed animal. Imagine running an animal coming from her and that male to those girls and making those triple visual recessive hypo G strike clown, 50% head desert ghost. That's just way too many things going on, guys, but definitely insane. And I'm going to show you now a bit of the genes that I think are going to be pretty epic inside that project. So that's the female basically that this year we discovered was also red stripe. So this is our uh, the female we thought previously was a spot nose yellow belly head clown, but now she's labeled as a spot nose red stripe yellow belly head clown. This female is going to go straight to that male. Obviously, the goal here is going to be making clowns double head 
and answer genetic stripe. So imagine those genes. We've seen the triple recessive made by a Kinova last year, which was one of the nicest uh, snake I've ever seen. That's spot nose, red stripe, desert ghost, G stripe clown. Incredible animal. So basically here, we're just incorporating yellow belly on top of that. Um, but these codoms are gonna be so nice inside of that project. And I think another one that I really think is gonna be cool um, is definitely the Cypress. Not necessarily this girl is gonna go to him, uh, but there's just one of the nicest Cypress we have uh, in our collection. That, that's uh, Mojave Cypress at Clown Plus at Hypo. So I think that this, the way Cypress actually reacts in Clown, making that extremely busy pattern and that really bright orange head, I think inside of the G-Stripe Clown project, it's gonna be one gene to really, really uh, focus on. So that, that, that is definitely one route we're gonna take. Um, we have some Cypress clown girls growing, um, so hopefully we can pair him to those girls in the future, but definitely um, it's, it's epic what we have uh, in store for the G-Strike clown project because it's basically just pressing restart in the whole clown, um, in the whole clown gene. All the crazy interaction we've seen, we are yet to discover what they're gonna do and react uh, in the G-Strike Clown. So just imagine those Kraken, those Pompeys, those Super OD, Fire, Yellow Belly, crazy clowns, all with G-Strike. That's going to be epic. And it's a nice palette then to start piling on some other recessives. So definitely, um, it's a project that uh, if you haven't checked out yet, definitely go and do your research. It's going to be a big one in the ball python industry. Um, on this, guys, comment down below, which genes would you like to see added inside of that G-Strike Clown project? Not necessarily with Desert Ghost, but which genes do you think are gonna affect that pattern a lot? I'm really curious to have your opinion on this. Um, for me, those are my top right now that I really wanna incorporate in that. Um, and on this, guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram. We post our daily uh, snake maintenance in the facility here, uh, and also all the first available animals are going to be there, new clutches and everything. Um, check our Morph Market page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. On this, we'll see you next week. Cheers and stay tuned.